Hello, so it's E-Man here. Another news day. Two things. Well, I don't know what I'm going to talk about today. Okay, so I don't know if you heard about this satanic Satan worshippers, whatever. They're going to be approaching your children after school to join their after school programs. Now, a lot of people say freedom of speech, but yeah, let Muslims do that and see if people don't have a problem. Let Christians do that and see if people don't have a problem. Yeah, I, I think it's sad how hypocritical Americans are and they talk about equality. America has never been equal. Ever since the English people came here and messed this country up, it's never been equal. If they could do that and no one complains, no one says anything, then let's see Muslims do it and see if you got a problem with it. And I promise you, you will. I think it's just horrible. And, and I just think it's horrible how America picks and chooses what they're going to get upset about and what they're going to let go. I mean, that's not equality. It's stupid. All I can say is the parents, especially Christians, the Bible says teach your children. So I don't even know why you shipping them off to school. We are in this world, not of it. And you're not supposed to be, you're supposed to be teaching them yourself. That's why Abraham was blessed, because he taught his children. The only reason why school was created, because parents got lazy and stopped teaching their children. Teach your children, parents. You don't need, homeschooling is, it's already been proven that children that are homeschooled, are better off than those who go to school and so t teach your own children and so I can say yes it's it's legal because it's after school but at the end of the day if that was Muslims if that was Isis mm-hmm you would not be so quiet now would you exactly um, and, and if you know anything about Satanists they kill people just as much as Isis do they're just quiet about it um, other news now, I'm not a parent, so I, I can't really say that this is not possible. But some woman left her child in her car, 100 degrees weather, while she went shopping in the Walmart. Now, I personally, and this happens all the time lately. Like I said, I don't have children, so I don't know how possible or impossible it is to forget you brought your child with you. Especially if you know you have children and you know you're husband is at work and you know you have no choice but to bring them with you I can't comprehend how you could forget they're in the car but hey maybe it is possible because according to the news she actually forgot the child was in the car so I don't know how that's possible but parents do better I don't know put an alarm on them or something I don't know but do better because it's the child could have died and I don't, like I said, I just don't have children, so I don't know how possible or impossible that is. Unless you're a new parent, maybe that's what it is. You're a new parent, and you're so used to not having children in the car that you forgot. But I just think it's amazing that parents forget. And so I say, parents, just do better. Put an alarm on your phone or something to remind you your child's in the car. I don't know. But do better. Politics. Stupid. Stupid, stupid, stupid. First of all, Americans are stupid. That's all I have to say about that. Okay, so I've already mentioned this in another thing. We are not in a democracy. I hope you're not dumb enough to think we're actually in a democracy because democracy means there is no one person, Republican, one person, Democrat, and that's all you have to know. Democracy means whoever you feel like voting for is who you vote for, period. There is no competition. There's no preliminary voting. There's no pre-voting. None of that exists. There's no accepting the um, nomination in democracy. That does not exist. Democracy means whoever wants to run for president. If you want to run for president, run. And whoever wants to vote for you, that's what a democracy is. We're not in a democracy. Because if we were, we wouldn't have this only two choices. Period. Now, as for both choices, I think this is the worst we've ever had. Because they both lie about everything. And it's just... I say vote for yourself or, or write your vote in. I just don't believe in voting just because, you know, all your vote won't count. Well, don't let it count. i much rather my vote not count than to vote for someone who I do not agree with. Because then that means they're going to start passing laws that's against, against what I believe in, my standards. And you should never, ever, for no reason, compromise your standards. But you see, that's the problem. Most Americans don't have standards. They're just desperate irresponsible, immature, low standard, low self-esteem people who just accept whatever. 
compromise for whatever because they have no standards lazy and want the benefits of being responsible while being irresponsible that's why people vote they don't vote for change they vote because they don't want to do what it takes to have what they want so they want to vote for someone to give them what they did not work hard to get it's that simple so I, I, I'm just highly encouraging you to vote for somebody. Don't vote for either Hillary or Trump. That way neither one of them can get in there. But I, I'm, I'm, I'm so convinced that Trump's going to win. Could be wrong, but that's what I believe. Not that I want him to win, but I truly believe he's going to win. And I do believe he's going to make this country better. He's not going to make it great again because this country was never great. Yeah, it was great for white men because, you know, they had slaves and didn't have to work for nothing. But this country was never great. This country was never, it was great before the English people, before 1776, before they turned it into America, this country was great. But once it became America, never been great. Never. And so, yes, he can make it good for the first time, you know. And I truly believe he can do that because it, it people say you need a background in politics. What has that done? What fruit, what results do we have of people having a background in politics making this country has not been better since it's been ran by people with a background in politics. So why would you be so stupid to think someone you need a background in politics to run a country when hello? All these people we've had with background in politics, what has this, do we have any results? To, what, what do we have to sh show for? Nothing. So we have nothing to show for having someone run the country, our state, or our city with a background in politics. Common sense, having a background in politics is not the answer. So, that's that. Not much other I'm going to talk about because, you know, the news is getting boring. It's getting stupid. And, 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 and. It's just getting dumb. And so I truly hope if you're watching this and you, you want to share some, some you want me to, to to give my point of view on something that's going on, let me know. I really want to talk about good things, but nothing I can really think of. I mean, I looked through the news, nothing really. It's just boring and dumb. And I'm just done. I'm done. Well, you have yourself a good day today. Don't let the news depress you. Find something to do to make someone's life better. I think that's something we need to just start doing. Ignore the news. Find something to do to make someone else's life better every single day of your life. All right? You have a great day. Goodbye.